Hey, this is Ryan from Web Eminence. Google Analytics is the standard for tracking and analyzing your website traffic. I did a video recently on the top few things for small business owners to look at in Google Analytics so you can make sense of all the data. I'm gonna to link to that video, but I did promise to show you how to set up Google Analytics on your site. And since your time is precious, here's a quick walkthrough on how to set up Google Analytics on your site. So you may have Google Analytics already installed on your website, maybe someone else did it for you. Um, so the first step is to check if it's there. This is a new website I created for a client and I know Google Analytics is not present. Uh, the way that I check is using the Google Tag Assistant and that is an extension in the Chrome browser. So you can go uh, search for that and install it. So what that allows me to do is look at the tags that are present on the site. So it tells me to add Google Analytics. If Google Analytics were present, it would show me the results. So if I were to go over to my website where I know Google Analytics is installed, I will see the global site tag and then a Google Analytics tag. So if you install the Google Tag Assistant and you see it says add Google Analytics, that means it uh, Google Analytics is not installed on your site currently. Another way to check is to go to gachecker.com, put in your website and click check your site. I already did that for this same site and it is showing me that the global site tag and universal analytics and all these analytics codes are not present. If you see some of these other ones like classic, that means you're displaying or your, your site has an older code. Uh, the global site tag is currently the newest method. Um, so that's the one you're gonna want to have. I'm gonna show you how to install that one uh, in this video. So the first step is gonna be creating a Google Analytics account. You can do this through a Google account like Gmail, or if you have a YouTube account, those are Google accounts. And you should be able to sign in to Google Analytics with those same uh, accounts. You could go to google.com slash analytics. It's gonna take you to what's currently called the Google Marketing Platform. Can't promise that they won't change the name in the future. They probably will. Um, but it looks like it's located at marketingplatform.google.com. There's some info. Um, you know, sales info about Google Analytics. It is free uh, to use it for most small businesses, you know, using it at basic level. So if you click start for free, it should take you to a new account page. It's gonna look like this. It's gonna ask you to create a new account. I'm gonna head over to my account that I already have created. So my Google Analytics account has a bunch of websites in it. So there's some data that's already accumulated, but I'm gonna go to admin and then it's showing me accounts, properties and views. I'm gonna create a new account in order to add Google Analytics to my website. So that's the same process that was just shown on that new account page. I'm just going at it a bit differently through my existing uh, analytics account. So if I click create account, it's gonna take me to the same page we just saw on that other uh, page where I was not logged in. So the first step is gonna be uh, creating an account name, a website name, and adding your website URL. So the account name might be the name of, of the business website name you know might be part of the URL and then the URL would be the same the full URL starting with HTTP and actually I need to take out the HTTP because it's already entered there you can select an industry and then choose your time zone and then I'm gonna click get tracking ID you can review some of these data sharing settings accept the terms of service and it takes me directly to the tracking ID called a global site tag. Here is my new tracking ID for this website. It says no data received in the past 48 hours because it's not currently on the site. If I click on this, I can hit uh, type control C, press control C on the keyboard, or you can right click and copy it. So this is the code that you're gonna have to add to your website to install Google Analytics. So the instructions here say that this global site tag um, it says copy and paste this code as the first item into the head of every web page you want to track. So basically you want this code to be on every page of your site in the head tags. So that's a section at the top of your page. So I'm logged into WordPress here. There's a few different ways to get this tag onto your website. I'm using something called the Divi theme, which I use on a lot of websites, but it has within the theme options, the uh, ability to integrate code into the header. So I can turn the header code on or off, it is enabled, and I can simply paste that code that I copied from Google Analytics right here, and then click save, and that's, it's done, that's all I need to do. 
depending on what framework or theme you have with WordPress, your, um, you can check your theme options. Most of them have some kind of section or box to paste in your Google Analytics code or tracking code. You just want to make sure it go, it's going into the head tag of your site. There are other ways to do it. You could go to Appearance in Editor. And if you're familiar with dealing with website code, you could edit the header.php file in your WordPress website. And in this file, you're gonna see the head tag. So you need to add the code within these head tags. I wouldn't recommend this to many people because you could break your site by editing this file. You'd also wanna look into child themes before you edit this header.php because once you update, you're gonna lose that change. So this is not the best way to do it, but this is one way to do it. Another way to do it is by using a plugin that will add code to your uh, head tag of all your pages. There's probably some Google Analytics plugins in here, but I use a plugin called Tracking Code Manager. So I'm gonna install and activate that plugin. And they have a free version, a premium version. Free version is gonna allow you to create a few codes. So I'm gonna click to create a new one, call it Google Analytics, paste in the code that was given to me within my Google Analytics account and I want it to go in the head tag so I'm gonna say before head show on all devices click standard code tracking in WordPress and then I want it to appear in the whole website so you can use this plugin to inject code into your website on specific pages if you want um, but we're doing it on the whole site so I'm gonna click save actually I'm not going to because I already installed the code but this is just how you would use this plugin to install the Google Analytics code so you should be able to go back to your website and verify using one of those methods that I mentioned. Uh, if I go back to this site homepage, click on the Google Tag Assistant, now I see the global site tag and the Google Analytics tag present. So that means it's functional and should start tracking uh, data uh, from, from this point. It won't track data from the past, only from the point of the code being installed. If I go to GA Tracker and let's check the site again, you can see now that it's finding the global site tag uh, on the home page and on the other pages. It's not showing on the feed, but I don't think that's a problem. So yeah, the code is installed. That's how you do it. it should only take you a few minutes and then you'll be able to start tracking uh, data in your Google Analytics account. Make sure to check out my next video. I'll link to it at the end. And that video will help you understand how to make sense of the data, how to look at some of the most important pieces of data in Google Analytics after your uh, site is up and running. So I will link to that video I mentioned where I show you the top few things to look at in Google Analytics. And this would be a good thing to do after your tag is installed for at least 30 days and you have a good amount of data. It shows you an efficient way to log in and to look at the data in a quick way just to get some meaningful information uh, and not be overwhelmed by all the data that exists in the Google Analytics account. So I hope you found this useful. Please subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. I'm sure I'll do more, or maybe I've already done more on Google Analytics. So go ahead and search my channel for others, and we'll see you on the next video.